Hello everyone, welcome back to Buying Mutant. In this one, we are continuing on from where we were in the last one. We defeated this monkey something or other here, like a some sort of big bad dude that we came against. Then we saved it and we got this fast travel point, which is pretty sweet. Now, if we look at the map, uh, the plan was actually to go down here and start up this Jagni Fortress. But because we're pretty much so close to this Another World objective anyway, we might just go over there. Oh, look at this. I didn't even realize there were these outposts scattered throughout the map. Huh. What are those, like, the different the different tribes, maybe? I don't know. I don't think so. Oh, here's another outpost. Huh, we're going to have to take a look at those as well at some point. But for now, I think we're just going to continue on to this another world area. And see what's going on over here after we finish doing whatever's over on... Over here, we'll probably head on over to the Jagni Fortress and see if we can make... and see what they want over there. You can now craft weapons and modify your gear in the crafting menu. Oh, okay. That might be a little bit of a hint. Go to the crafting tab to craft weapons and modify gear. Here we go. Modify gear. Crafting and modifying gear requires certain resources as seen here. Scrapping parts and gear that you don't want will give you real resources needed to craft and mod and upgrade items. The quality of the item will be shown here. High quality weapons deal more damage. The quality of an item can be upgraded at an upgrade bench. The material that the item is made of will be shown here. Better materials make for stronger, more powerful weapons. The material of an item can be upgraded at an upgrade bench. Some pieces and add-ons have a special effect on them. These can deal hazard damage depending on the special effect. The combination of quality material and hazardous damage defines overall rarity of the weapon. Upgrading a weapon will increase the rarity as well as the base stats. Each weapon has a different number of mod slots available to craft parts to. Okay, so here's the base type. So we can choose to change the base type, but it's just going to be a knife. Can't do anything there. The handle we could put on a clencher, but it doesn't really look like it does a anything. A tool for the accomplished cutter. Ah, here we go, up the very top. Now I get it. So in main hand, there's an option up the very top to change to ranged. I get it. That's what I didn't see before. So we could maybe modify this, hey? Oh, so it's already got the cloth stock on it, does it? For when you have to shoot whole bunches of things at once. Yeah, it's already got the cloth stock on it. It's already got the grip on it. Can't change the base type. Magazine can't be changed. And the muzzle can't be changed either. Okay. So we can't really do much, honestly, in terms of crafting. But it's nice to know that it's there. Oh, and at least we know how to view our different guns now. I can't believe I didn't see that option there up the top in the last, last two episodes. Okay, cool. So now we know where to look. Let's continue. Oh bloody hell, what is that? The tribe's caught a fluffy hog. Better watch out, it's no pet. Go to the clearing. They couldn't Defeated. keep it down. Fluff hulks on the loose. Settle down, mate. Oh, we could do one of these. Hang on. Oh, 
health patch. There we go. I'll grab one more. There we go. Feeling mighty low. Oh, there we go. I actually really like that combo. You gave them no choice but to take it down, even though they'd planned to take the Fluff Hulk out to the far Fnacky leaves and let it go. They've received news a Ronin had strengthened their ranks and were looking forward to meeting you. A group of myriad crusaders already headed out to Jagni's Mercadorpus outpost and are waiting for you there. You should hurry there and help them best the outpost. You complete them. From this point on, the myriad is unbroken. Mm, not bad. So that was actually pretty cool. If you, like, dive in... And then you can use this, like, pretty much immediately. That's a pretty sweet combo. It uses up all the energy, but it seems pretty powerful. So, where does it want us to go? Down here. Double check our map. Okay, why not? We'll see what's going on. Oh, actually, we got a level up there, so we could make some... Here we go. Level up. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your tr attributes. Yeah, we know that. Okay. So, what do we want to do here? A little bit of agility... I might do a little bit of strength, um, just because... We'll do a little bit of strength, just because I think there's no getting away from the melee damage in this game. You just got to use it when your weapon goes on cooldown. Pump you up. So I think this is never going to be really that bad. And we've got upgrade points, which we can do here. I think we'll get this one now. So if we're holding an automatic rifle, we can perform that same... Special attack as before, so BX right trigger. We'll try this out, why not? We're not really holding one right now though, are we? If we go into ranged, this is our gun, this is our automatic rifle. So we could go to our automatic rifle and maybe... Set Deathmaker to spray. Try that out a little bit, hey? There we go. Out of, out of control room. New main quest. Okay. I mean, this don't think this is the right way to go right now. So we're not gonna. Yeah, we're just gonna follow the main quest, I think, because after we do this, it might lead Look, us in that same. An direction. emergency box from the old days. Wow. <laughs> Bet that nut makes a tight fist. Old world clonk fist. You found the Clonk Fist, this powerful tool can be used to punch through walls. It can even be used as a weapon. It can be equipped from the gear menu. You found a new weapon, you can now unlock special attacks with this weapon type. Go to the Wang Fu menu and press start, okay. So if we go to the Wang Fu menu, here we go, new weapon skills. When you find a new weapon, you'll be able to spend upgrade points to unlock special attacks for that weapon type. Oh, here it is. So all these Wang Fu attacks are referring to that that clonk fist. Interesting. We would have to equip it though, shouldn't we? In main hand? Yeah, here we go. It does a little bit less damage. But wait, does it even do less damage? No ammo. Oh no, it does more damage. It's just of less rarity. Interesting. Huh. Not bad. So let's see if we can break this wall open here. To smash through the wall, you need to then hold X and then release it. To switch weapons, either use the quick select menus or go to the gear. Okay. True, we could just do it like this. Hey, I forgot about, forgot about this quick tab here. Tunnels like this still carry echoes from the past. Can you hear it? Oh, 
Oh, that's sick. Special attacks. Hitting an enemy with a special attack fills one of your Super Wang Fu icons to the left of your character. When all icons are filled, you can activate the Super Wang Fu state. You need to use a different special attack. Oh, you need to use a different special attack to fill up the next icon. Oh. Okay. So if we change guns now to this one. There we go. That activated another one. Man, these things are these things are tough. Oh man. Knuckle duckle. Oh, mate, settle down. Yeah, these guys are so tough. Oh, there we go. You should be able to use that. Boom. Three buyer points. Yeah. Okay. So we could probably do some upgrades with those as well if we want, All right? We got some bio points here. What do we need? Mutations, biogenetics, moth mouth. Uh, actually, I think we're going to wait on that. We might do a little bit of resistance now. Anti biohazard. Why not? We'll do a little bit of this and a little bit of uh, anti radiation. Oh, we got three actually. May as well do. Da, da, da. What do we want? We'll do heat. There we go. A few extra resistances. Goodbye to another night. New side quest. That notice board, filled with the leftovers of used to be once. You're getting close to one of those old Toxanol brick towns. Pay attention. The Toxanol Corporation made this place and then just threw it away when they were done with it. Toxanol never cared about the waste, as long as they didn't have to pay to clean it up. There must be a track somewhere in this brick town. Just hope it's not buried. Notice boards found, 1 of 15. Okay. Uh, we're probably not going to go up here yet, just because our quest is actually telling us to go the other way, I think. Hang on. Pretty sure we have to go over this way somewhere. Oh, sweet! It's an add-on. Okay. Do we know what class it's for? Weight class medium? Nails? Oh, it's probably for, uh, for range. Oh, uh, sorry, melee. Got some stuff here as well. Something for the head, a little bit of armor. Health regen. Oh, Edno Blade. This weapon increases your armor score by 2% for every 10 minute or 10 units of vitality. Man, there's a lot of stuff laying around, isn't there? But that's about it here. Nothing else to do. See if we can go out this way. Well, actually, it says the tribe war begins. Notice boards found. Oh, so the 
Oh, I get it. The tribe war is all the way over here. Myriad tribe. We don't want to do that yet, though. We want to see what's going on over here at the Jagni, the Jagni Fortress, don't we? Well, before we do that, you know what? Let's just... Before we do any of that, let's go to this place here, the old world knowledge thing. There could be another fast travel point there. Then we could fast travel back here, go to the Jagni Fortress, and just make everything a little bit quicker. So let's go back down here for now. Because surely going to the Jagni Fortress is going to issue some sort of cutscene or going to progress the through the story, is wonderful. I guess. This corner of the world is called Bricktown. Open the map up to see the area objectives again. Oh, superb loot, old world gadget, and a zero out of three. Oh, so there's a fair amount of stuff to find here, apparently. Huh. I can imagine to find everything, there's probably going to be a few upgrades that we, that we still need to get. But nevertheless, we can still have a look around, right? Oh, actually, before we do anything, we may as well get this fast travel point. Let's see. Because then we can always come back here. Woody vest. Armor upgrade. Oh, here we go. We're getting all the rare stuff here. Look at this. A little bit of armor. Common pants. Okay. So it tells me there's something new here. That's five. Put on that for 1%. Or this for a little bit more energy regen. I think we go for the critical chance. Oh, level needed 12. Wow, I didn't realize there'd be level caps. And some of this stuff. Oh, there it is. That would be the bare minimum. Okay, I get it. And to put something on our offhand, we need to unlock that that Wang Fu jewel wield skill. Okay, it's all starting to come together now. Right shoulder. Hang on. Left shoulder, nothing. Back, nothing. Okay, so that's about everything we can do. We can put this on our melee weapon if we want. But I think we're good. Can we go up another level? Not really. Oh, large... Energy pack. Okay. A metal pipe? Okay, a handle of some there sort. There are places up ahead far worse than this. Places up ahead far worse than this. Is that a hint? That we shouldn't go too far? <laughs> oh, we can't go in everywhere, though. Yeah, this, uh, this game is definitely built to be explored. <laughs> There's so many different doors and homes and things that you can just look in. You never know what you're going to find. Pipe wrench. Another type of handle. So I wonder if I put some parts on a specific item, if, if I can take them off again. If I want to sell that item at some point. Full neck jacket. Oh man, so much stuff. If we look through the walls there, I think that's just showing me where the fast travel point is. Oh, there's something here. Clink scrap, okay. 
Alright, we'll take a little bit of a look around still, around this side maybe. And then after we're done, we'll fast travel back and go check out that Jagni Fortress. Oh, there's something up there. A health pack. What you Looks like the Fry Sparkers knobs need to be in sync if you want to get the hardware working. It's a Fry Sparker mindset. Boom! You got something. It's oh, not wow. exactly what you wanted, but you got it right away. Rare epidemic. Okay, biohazard. Biohazard 50. Type mod. Pass pants. We need to be level 5 for that, though. Find the fry sparkers. There's a lot on the line here. Can we equip it straight away? We can. So it takes our armor to 13. It's got two add-ons already on it, it seems like. Critical hit chance goes back to one. That's okay, though. Oh, it seems like there's something down there as well. Oh my god, it's just every single corner. Oh, wow, look at this. Rarity, rare. Oh, we don't have anything on our shoulders either yet, hey. Made from the right stuff. Put that on. Oh, what is that? Adrenaline shot. Damage 240 to 260. That is nice. I bet that goes for a lot of money. There's something below this little area here as well. Like underground? Oh, here we go. A flush stool from the... Seems like the tighteners on the piping need to be unturned correctly to drain the flush stool. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Mate, those puzzles are really simple. <laughs> That's the kind of trouble you really want to wash away. High school bomber jacket. Unfortunately, we need to be level 12 again. Now that loot. Find the flush tools. <laughs> Mate, where are we going? We're like under this city now. The world is awake. Oh, here we go. We're back in that sort of area where we came from. Alright, so let's get back to this fast travel point. Um, I'm done having a look around this city right now. We found one out of the one for the superb loot, but there's still old world gadgets. There's still another old world gadget lying around. We won't worry about that though. I think we're just going to go all the way to this fast travel point and continue from there. Let's see. Okay, very interested to see what happens when we go to this Jagni Fortress. I think we are going the right way, right? Hang on. Yeah, just uh, it's just a little bit confusing. Because we don't have any minimap or anything. Here we go. This looks promising. That's the Jagni tribe's fort. 
Their friendship can be a blessing or a curse. It's up to you. You're either a part of their solution to the tribe war or part of the problem. Yeah, the problem is if we just... Like, we've already decided to side with the Myriad tribe. So I wonder what happens here if we go in and, and just, I don't know, see what's up. <laughs> Just one more day, about to wind up. Let's see. Says rival tribes aren't welcome here. Leave now, or they'll send a party to hunt you down. Oh, wow, okay, so they just straight up are like, not nah, stay away, Let's get see. out of here. Okay, I'm lucky I didn't come here sooner then, because that would have been a little bit of a waste of time. So let's go back to Bricktown. And we'll head back up to here, Old World Knowledge. So we'll place this at the waypoint and then, I don't know, have a look around here and then we can head on here to meet the Myriad tribe. Seems like a good plan. I could spend hours and hours looking around these different cities for different parts and things to check them all off the list. Because I still need an Old World gadget here, but I don't think that would be very entertaining to watch. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Although there is something... Straight down here. I think this is just one of those notice boards, though, right? Yeah, this is just one of those notice boards. Now I'm seeing something down there underground. Oh, mate, I'm so addicted to looking for stuff. It's crazy. Let's just run down there real quick and see if we can get in there. Here we go. Never. You need to get the pegs lined up to get the clothes soaker rolling. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Oh, hang on. Did I do this wrong? That spiraled out of control. Whoops. Mate, let's you try need that again. To turn the pegs in sync. I need to turn them in sync. Well, they obviously. This has to go like that, right? And that like that. Yeah, there we go. You really put a spin on it. Relic band, a handle. Another adrenaline shot. Okay, that might be the last thing here. Actually, because we only needed Control one. Control your destiny. Or someone else will. Okay, so I think we're pretty much done here. Let's head on over to this waypoint up the top. Man, it would be nice if we had, like, something to get around a little bit quicker. Because this world is actually pretty big and sprinting around. I mean, it's okay, but it does take a little bit of time. Here we go, here's another notice board. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxinol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like, well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Follow the trail, the chugyard. Uh, do we want to do that? Why not? Seems interesting. Let's follow the trail, see where it ends up, and if it's nothing special, we always have a fast travel point here. So it's not the end of the world, right? Oh, wow. Smoking. Quality decent. So they're all different things. Yeah, here we go. Incendiary module. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to use that. How do I undo it? Whoops. Okay, so now my, my weapon is going to be infused for a second. That's okay. Looks like we're coming up against something here anyway. Oh, wow. Oh, 
tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprites. You can make something from that. This is your chance. Oh my god, hang on a second, buddy. Alright, let's do this. Health pack. Here we go. Boom. All right. Good enough, mate. A lot of little health things there. That's nice. Tickling toffee. Anything over here? Uh, all right. We're good. Have you been up all night? Who is this guy? Do we need to take him out? Apparently. <laughs> Another fast travel point. Always welcome. Let's see. Oh, what is that? Oh, true. That's right. That's that guy we met in our in our flashback. Oh, so he might give us some sort of interesting invention here to use. Pry open the door. Here we go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Level up. Land the spocket. Oh, you're kidding me. Yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Oh, okay. I thought I actually wow, had to control you it. you really <laughs> took that all the way down to the end. In flames. You found a biocontaminated container. Collect the bio bio lobs and use these to unlock mutations in the menus or to change your appearance at bio pools. Disgusting bio hazard. Just gross. Oh, okay. So that's another way you can unlock these these bio lobs. I thought they were called bio blobs. Okay, bio lobs. Well, that's nice. With that last bio blob, we could un we could upgrade our last. Oh, true. We have to do this first. Hang on. Uh, what are we doing? Uh, we'll do... Things seem simpler now. A little bit of intellect. Why not? And we'll go to our resistances and we will do... Cold. We can't do any psi powers right now. This is a special attack, a drunken ant. Okay, we'll unlock this one. One-handed slash. It has to be a slash weapon, right? One, dual wield melee, two-handed slash, and crush, yeah. We'll open up this one, and we'll do... We'll do this one. So, X, X, Y. Just double check if we have any more upgrades here. Well, this one's nice. Feels good on you. 
That one's also pretty good. Got nothing there on our head. Uh, let's sort by stat, yeah. So apparently we got the best one. Something on our back. Why not? I think that's about it. Here we go. Oh, so that's the base type, this, this Etno Blade. So this one's 83 to 118. Oh, this one's just better. Look at that. Yeah, that's nice. Here we go. And this is also a one-handed slash weapon. So this is going to be good with our... Oh, but I don't have enough to craft it. Look at that. I'm missing some materials. All right, so we won't... Yeah, we'll discard the changes. We won't do anything now. We'll come back to that when we have enough materials to do it. Okay. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past. One of these up and downs. <laughs> Just like a lift. What is this? The spent nuclear fuel that Toxanol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. Oh, here he is. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Why, why, not dark. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. It carries so much hate, and its insatiable hunger has only increased over the years since it claimed revenge on your parents. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! <laughs> Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Supposes that's all any of us can do. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. Figures everyone does. They seem unusually dedicated to finding them. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, 
and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the dead zone, so you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Buff. It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination. Okay, so we went to the light again there. But what are we looking for? Like scraps or something? He sort of spoke a little bit strange. What's up here? Let's take a look at this first. Looks like the switches need to be turned to match so enough charge can flow through the conductors. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Good. That's enough electric current to initiate the actuators and activate the framework. Okay. This so is, that is way our... worse than moist. The moistest. That's our way out of here, I think. Double check. Is there anything in here? Oh, hazard zone. You discovered a hazard zone. These zones are vast areas covered in deadly hazards. You can only withstand the hazard for so long before it kills you, so be careful. Hazards come in several types. Biocontaminated, cryogenic, incendiary, radioactive, and the oxygen-deprived dead zone. Mm. Your gear and the resistance you choose during character creation determine how long you can survive in the hazard zones and how much damage you take from hazard weapons. With a resistance of 100 to a type of hazard, you resist 100% of the damage from that hazard. Oh, okay. So if we go back in, we're sweet. Oh, but we can't go on that on that ground anyway. Oh, so it activated like a side quest as well. Interesting. Wow, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. For now, let's just continue out this way because this They're is They're uh... short of breath and death to this zone. Oh, Better whoa. take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. Oh, okay. So now it's good again. So it's out here that's bad. Yeah, here we go. It starts coming down again. Let's just double check for different things. Can't find anything. Nah, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hypoxia zone. That's what it's called. So they are zones deprived of oxygen, I think. You found a climbing spot. Use the normal movement controls to move to the next ledge. Jump away to stop climbing. Okay. Easy enough. So we can go all the way across there. Question is, are we going to have enough oxygen to get back? Oh, come on, mate. you got to be quick. Oh, no. This is going to be... This is going to be bad. Come on. Oh, we got it. All right. We lost a little bit of health, but nothing too dramatic. Oh, look at this. Loot chance plus 13. Don't need it, though. We can sell that for scraps, maybe. How do we get over there? Are we meant to just jump along this ledge? I feel like if we try and jump on the ledge... Oh, actually, no, we got to climb up, up here. Down. And then we have to go to the right. So we're going the right way anyway, I think. Conserve your wind. Mecton parts. You found a Mecton parts box. These boxes can be found around the world and contain parts for you to customize the Mecton. Shin guards. Scrap rack. 
Ankle bank. What? Ankle banquets? One of 14? Wow. Okay, sounds good. Now, do we have to go back again? Or how do we get back here? I can't get up there. Oh, wait. Yeah, we can. Hang on. Oh, what the? What is going on? <laughs> There we go. Just wanted to double check if there's anything else to explore on these on these levels, but it doesn't seem like there is. Oh, there's something on this level. A bosk. Type of grip, okay. Oh, we could slide down there as well. Oh, this is the last level. Makes sense. And this takes us straight back to where we started. Practical. Oh, we could have opened that as well. Huh. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun, and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. He made a suction device so the Mekton can use the black tar as an instant refuel. You can also use it to clear oily goo puddles so you can pass and access hard to get to areas. He's been working on another project for the Mechtom, a cannon, but it needs ammunition, and by that he means the scripts. He says if they're trained right, they'll turn into a distraction for the Jumbo Puff. <laughs> the best way to find scripts is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. <laughs> Unfortunately, this means you'll have to venture farther out into the dead zone than Moog's camp on the steep depot. Once you find Moog, he'll be able to give you directions to where you'll find scripts. He noticed the Jumbo Puff has a short attention span, so the script should distract it long enough for you to inflict some damage. Oh, the Jumbo Puff? Isn't the Jumbo Puff one of the World Eaters? Hang on. If we look at the World Eater, where is it? Is the first one over this way? So here's the leftovers. Mecton Gizmo, ask Mook about the scripts. So this is the direction we could also go in to continue on on this sort of part of the... Uh, I think it's like a side quest? I don't know, but I think squips are going to be used to defeat the first World Eater. I think that's what he's sort of referring to. It's time to create your own path. Create my own path. Gizmo wants to help. Says... Okay, so if we look at our journal here, we have a few things that we could do. Okay, so conquer the rival tribes and the tribal war. I think that's just a general, uh, a general mission. Defeat the four world elders, eaters, that's also a pretty general mission. The Myriad Tribe, meet the war party, that's pretty specific. I think that one is just up the top on our map. And Gizmo, ask him about the squips, that's also a main quest. Interesting. Oh my god, look how many different side quests we've got now. Crazy. We might be able to do this one? We'll see. We'll just go to where the, the quest is telling us to go. And if we get hit with like a brick wall that we can't get past anymore... Then we're going to have to stop. Okay, so we're going to have to venture back out to that sort of area again. But if we can hop between... If we can hop between these little inside areas, it shouldn't be too bad. Maybe. Oh, maybe it will, actually. We might not be able to do that until we get this mech suit that he was referring to. Okay. Yeah, okay, I don't think we can do this. 
There's still a superb loot that we missed here, but I think we're going to just do go back to the journal and do this Myriad Tribe. I think we're going to do this one. So Pace for now, let's yourself. just head back. So, double check. Yes, we are going the right way. Awesome. You found the whereabouts. The deepest, darkest forest in... That's a resource totem. A monument left behind by those that picked scrap, trying to keep the area clean. You found a scrap totem. Bash it with your weapon to gather materials for crafting... And we for crafting weapons, Wood scrap. okay. The one kind of scrap you could actually still find growing. Oh, four plank. Huh. Okay. Thank you very much. Is that going to disappear now? Hmm. I wonder if we can continue to collect those, or if it's just like a one-time thing. That's a Jagni tribe outpost. Oh, a Jagni tribe outpost. Oh, Jagni is like our, our rival, right? That's probably why it was referring to some sort of war. So here we go. Let's uh, let's double check that we've got all the upgrades that we want available. Actually, we might save our biolob so we can get some better these these better biogenetic things because you don't need to spend them immediately, do you? We we'll wait a little bit. I think we'll just concentrate on our our gear. See if we got anything of value. Here we go. You look civilized. There we go. It's a little bit better. Those are good. That's also good. Okay. Don't think we can really do much here. We'll check if we can upgrade our melee weapon, actually, because we couldn't. Looks like it could cut anything. Hang on. We want to craft. Main hand. Modify. No, we wanted to make a new one. Do we have enough? I don't think we have enough still, do we? No, nah, we don't have enough still. This card. Okay. We've got to get a few more materials before we can any do anything like that. Wow. Oh, these guys are level 5 as well. Oh, there we go. That was the drunken end. Okay, we got one more of it here. Flash the slash. You're ready to activate your Super Wung, Wung Fu. To activate it, press left bumper and right bumper. All right, let's try this. Oh, here we go. With Super Wung Fu active, you'll perform different, more powerful attacks. Super Wung Fu is powerful, but only be active for a limited amount of time. Ground Slam, Clonk Bonk, Rapid Shot. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. So there it is, it just activates, and then after a certain amount of time, boom, it's gone. That is cool. Keep focused on what you can do today. Tomorrow's already gone. Oh, we've got a side point for that as well. Wants to know how much good you think you can actually do in a ruined world. Wishes you goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Nothing too special there. Okay. I think this is where we're going to stop it now. Here. 
Uh, in the next one, we're going to continue on here. We're going to see if we can take on this Jagni tribe. It says the tribe war begins. So that's what we're going to that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day, and yeah, catch you later.